All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repped life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Yeah, man, I, I truly feel sad for the immortal Clay Thompson, bro. I ain't even on front, man. Bro, I feel so bad for Clay, man. I'm a Clay Thompson fan, man. I feel so bad for Clay, man. This is absolutely humiliating, bro. Clay look like he just want to break out and start crying on the court, bro. You can feel it, bro. You can feel it, bro. For him to go out like this, a goose egg, bro. A absolute goose egg, bro. And the Golden State Warriors is out here. I'm talking about they fans is on X going crazy, bro, on Clay Thompson, man. And I don't like that because everything Clay has bought to that organization, man, Clay Thompson has given everything. He never cheated the game, bro. He gave everything to that organization, bro. And for that fan base to dog him like that, bro, and treat him like he never did anything for the organization, man, that breaks my spirit, brother. That breaks my spirit, man. That breaks my spirit, bro. To see that, bro, that breaks my spirit and my soul, man. You know, Clay gave everything to the organization, man. Had two potential career and in injuries, bro. Surgery, still fought back, came back against the odds. Won another world championship with the team, man. And sometimes you just get older, bro. You're just not the same no more, man. And for the Golden State Warrior fans to do Clay like that, man, that, that's just, that's devastating, bro. That's de that's devastating, man. And I told y'all the Golden State Warriors going to get stumped today. I told you guys that the Golden State Warriors was going to get a mud hole stumped on their helmets today, man. And that's exactly what happened in this game, man. And I am thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly saddened to see my boy Klay Thompson, man, go out like this, bro. But he played like garbage, man. I can't even front, man. Klay Thompson was absolute cans, bro. Absolute cans, bro. And I'm talking about, man, this man got zero, y'all. Zero. He O for everything, bro. And it really just breaks my heart, man, to see Clay like that and to see the Golden State Warriors get out of like this. Now, Draymond Green, I always want to see him get the hell beat out of him. So I don't mind seeing Draymond Green get the blue hell beat out of him. I'm cool with that. But, you know, to see this situation right here, man, with the Golden State Warriors, man, with Clay Thompson, bro, a guy who I got a lot of love, man, for, man, I, I am devastated, y'all. Y'all smash the like button as y'all come on in here. Subscribe to the channel. If y'all not subscribed and ring that bell, man, I am devastated by what I'm seeing by Klay Thompson, man, and this team, man. Uh, him, Andrew Wiggins, uh, have just been absolutely horrific, bro. Absolutely horrific, man. And, you know, Wiggins, he hadn't been the same since they won the championship. Wiggins has not been the same, bro. The Golden State Warriors held on to Wiggins. They made a lot of mistakes, bro. They got rid of Jordan Poole. They, how, how bad could they have used the spark from Jordan Poole in this game, bro? You got rid of Jordan Poole. You went and got an old-ass CP3 that brought you nothing to this team. You did that out of spite for Draymond Green. Draymond Green has helped wreck and ruin this team. Klay Thompson is older. I give respect to a guy like Clay Thompson, though, man. He put his time in the game, man. You know, four world championships, poked his chest out, did everything he could to try to be great, man. You know what I'm saying? And he just wore down, man. Sometimes it happens like that, man. You don't disrespect your legends who really go through it and really went through those grind, man. This man went through two potential career-ending surgeries, and he could have quit basketball. He didn't. He kept playing, came back, won another championship against the odds, and he just he doesn't have it now, man. And to see the Golden State Warrior fans turn on this dude like this, man, is absolutely disgusting, man. If they was mad, they should be more mad at Andrew Wiggins because he's a younger, in his prime type of player out here playing like hot baby boo-boo. And it's disgusting. And then you got, you, like I said, the management made a horrible move. You, you, you let Draymond Green snivel you guys in the trade in Jordan Poole. So you gave up a guy who could go get you instant offense for old CP3 who bought you nothing to the table. So you lost the asset that you built up 
a homegrown asset in Jordan Poole you lost for nothing. Makes no sense whatsoever. How much could the Warriors have used Jordan Poole in a game like this where nobody's clicking and he comes in and hits a couple shots? This is unbelievable, man. But Draymond Green and these boys, they wanted to play with fire and their asses got burnt, man. This is what you get when you punching out dudes, stomping on dudes, beating the hell out your teammate. The Golden State Warriors are officially over with, bro. It ain't no coming back from this. Ain't no pass go. Ain't no collect $200, man. This shit is done. It's done. And the Golden State Warriors let their pride and their foolishness with not being able to handle their situation like men with Draymond Green destroy this team. You let them run away, KD. You let them run away, Jordan Poole. You let them stomp, kick, and punch on anybody without any real consequences. This is the Golden State Warriors. All of this foolishness. You lost Jordan Poole, a dude that was averaging 20 for you. You lost him. You lost Jordan Poole. This man was averaging 20 for you. And you gave him away for Chris Paul because of that punk Draymond Green. This is what happens when you run foolishness in organizations. Foolishness. Draymond Green completely destroyed the Golden State Warriors. Period. I don't want to hear nobody talking about Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson is a warrior that gave you four world championships. That fought through injuries. Draymond Green is a punk. If he would have never got that boy traded, you would have had Jordan Poole. You would have been able to weather some of these storms and get you some numbers on the board because Jordan Poole would have been great fit with his team instant offense. But you let Draymond Green run your back up a dude you homegrown built and pay Jordan Poole because he fit your system perfectly. But you allow Draymond Green to run this fool out of town. And everybody wants to sit up here and point to Klay Thompson, who's fought through all kind of injuries, all kind of surgeries, just to be back on the court. At least if you're a Golden State Warrior fan, pay your respects to Klay Thompson and everything great he gave the organization because the man put in time. But Draymond Green, this punk, he completely torpedoed the franchise. He destroyed the team. He destroyed the organization. It's absolutely disgusting. And to see it go down like this, bro, to see how in the end the trade for, you know, Chris Paul backfired, you giving away Jordan Poole backfired, absolutely disgusting. Shout out to my brother Italian in Laguna Beach. You surfboard dudes get wiped out totally. Believe that. You understand? He says... He says, man, you're right, fam. I've been a Dove fan since 1980. In the days of the real king and Bernard King, never liked Draymond. He a double agent, too, for unclutch. And that's a fact, homie. And that's a fact, homie. You understand? And I just come in here, man, to pay my respect to Clay Thompson, man. Everything he gave to Golden State Warriors organization over the years. He, he played like garbage tonight. But I'm saddened to see the Golden State Warrior fans turn on Klay Thompson because the man gave the organization everything he had. He never cheated the organization. He was a class class act. He was a real professional. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm just telling you guys what it is, man. He's a class act and a real professional, bro. And you can tell he just want to break down and cry for how bad he played in this game. But Draymond Green completely destroyed this team. And y'all didn't listen to me from the beginning of the season when I told y'all this dude is a punk. He straight destroyed the team. He ran KD off. He ran off Jordan Poole. And the, the Jordan Poole was the last string, punching dudes, kicking dudes, messing up the team's chemistry. The Golden State Warriors could have won more games in the regular season had Draymond would have been acting like a damn fool. That way they wouldn't even have been in this situation. But this, you can blame a majority of this on Draymond Green and then go right to the next guy, the dude who's closer to his prime, and, 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 and Andrew, Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, out of his damn mind, absolute disgusting, absolute ish show. And I'm sick to my stomach. Shout out to whoever sent that donation just now, man. Shout out, who is this? Hold on. Shout out to the brother Kelvin and the cash out with a donation, man. He said they beat the brakes off these ninjas ticket, man. Listen, bro. They beat them, they beat them, they beat them dudes like some old slaves, bro. Real talk, brother. They beat the hell out of these niggas, man. Real shit, bro. I'm hey man, this this disgusting, man. 
This is shout out to the brother Stacy Hall. Or yeah, the brother, yeah, shout out to Stacy Hall and Cash App with a donation. Salute to you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? He said, uh, the Warriors done ticket. Yeah, yeah, they over with, man. It's just sad, man. And I told you guys, Draymond Green, bro. Y'all want to talk about somebody, man? Talk about Draymond Green, man. You're talking about a guy who ran off key pieces, harassed his teammates, punched out his teammates, dogged his teammates, man. No, uh, 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 y'all want to talk about somebody? Slam Steve Kerr for having no damn control of this team. Having no pulse and no damn control over Draymond Green's sorry ass when he was costing them all the regular season games because he kept getting suspended and getting his ass kicked up out of the arena. That's right. Blame Draymond Green. The man set up there. If, if the Golden State Warriors had Jordan Poole, if they had Jordan Poole in this game, they would have had a better chance in this game because Jordan Poole would have been instant offense when Clay wasn't going. Or when stuff was struggling. You allowed him to run this man off for an old ass CP3. It is effing disgusting. And I stand on this shit. Shout out to Man Down Sports with the donation. He said, don't forget they ran Wiseman off too. Yeah, you damn right. They ran Wiseman off. Made him seem like he wasn't shit. Absolutely disgusting. A, a fucking d d d a stain. A stain. And it's Draymond a stain. Shout out to the brother Iman in the cash app. With the donation, man, he said, I hate Draymond, bro. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, man. And they're not giving enough heat to Draymond Green, man. Straight up, him, Steve Kerr for enabling this foolishness with Draymond Green, the Golden State Warriors' ownership for being a bunch of snobs up in their nose at all the foolishness when you've seen all the signs with Draymond Green ripping and running and wrecking your franchise, and y'all did nothing about it but set up there and acquiesce to this clown. That's what y'all did. That's what y'all did. Klay Thompson is a warrior. Klay Thompson, a four-time world champion. He never cheated the game. He had a great attitude, great mentality, and a great man, bro. He just got old and went through injuries. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with going out and you went out the right way. He went out a class act. Draymond Green went out a punk who, to who tore his team to shreds, who, ri who ripped his team from his very damn core. And it was absolutely disgusting when I watched Draymond Green do to this damn team. You ran that young boy off, man. You punched that young boy out. You ran that young boy off. And when it got old ass CP3, who didn't help do a damn thing. Absolutely disgusting. And the Golden State Warrior fan got nerve to get mad at Klay Thompson. Man, you out of your damn mind. You should be mad at Draymond Green because Draymond Green is a is the scum of the living earth. Shout out to Zay in the cash app. He said, Bullethead out coach Kerr today. Salute, Tiki. You ain't lying. You ain't lying about that. Mike Brown took it to him and gave it to him three the hard way, brother. Point blank, period. Y'all already know what it is, man. Shout out to the brother Kevin Woolridge in the cash app with the donation, man. He said, yeah, bro, I don't like Draymond no more, man. Man, you should have never liked Draymond. I've been told y'all about Draymond Green, bro. That dude wrecked his team from the very beginning. He and all his damn suspensions, all of his damn antics, kicking dudes, punching dudes, all this other shit. All that stuff got exposed tonight. Point blank, period. Because the antics had to end. You got Steph Curry out there crying. You got Klay Thompson. He old now. It's disgusting. You 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 gave away. The Golden State Warriors did something right in building up Jordan Poole. But they disrespected Jordan Poole, spit on Jordan Poole, and sent him out the back door. But guess what? God don't like ugly. And I mean what I say, and I say what the hell I mean. He don't like ugly. They did Jordan. If you had Jordan Poole, you would have had a contingency and a backup plan in case somebody ain't cooking. And I give Klay Thompson his flowers. I'm not going to do him like the rest of them dirty-ass fans is doing him because the man is a man at the end of the day. He's a man, bro. Yeah, he had a bad game. He gave you four world championships. Everybody can't play forever at a high level, man. So I respect that, brother, for coming back from two career-ending surgeries, trying to poke his chest out and give him whatever he can give him because he should have been done with the surgery. And that's facts. And the Golden State Warrior fans are complete scum for throwing Dre, uh, Clay Thompson under the bus when you had Draymond Green and Andrew Wiggins absolutely dogging his team. Wiggins in his prime playing like absolute trash. 
And Draymond Green, you are you are you you are you a damn shame. You better not ever go on that podcast show running your damn mouth for the rest of this summer. Cause don't nobody want to hear it. Straight up. We sick of you too. We sick of your ass too. Shout out to the brother Karan in the Cash App with the donation, man. He said, that's true, ticket. They ran off Pooh. Yeah, they ran off Pooh. Ran off Jordan Poole. If they had Jordan Poole, their asses might have brought it would have won this damn game. Probably would have had some more offense to help keep Negroes off Steph Curry. That was your contingency plan. But you let Draymond Green punch somebody's eyeballs out and run them off the table. And I'm disgusted. I'm, I swear I can't stand Draymond Green. The Golden State Warriors getting everything they deserve because they let Draymond Green run them up and they stuck their nose up at everybody. Now this bum ain't going to the playoffs. Get his ass off the court. Point blank period. And I ain't talking about Clay scored 30 points and lost. I give Clay his flowers because I understand what it is when you're older, when you ain't got it no more, when you gave everything you had. You came back from two career ending surgeries. You won another championship. Everybody can't be great forever. At some point in time, players decline. But you respect those players that poked their chest out, gave you everything, and did it with class. You don't spit on their name. You, you, you destroy the dudes like Draymond Green who functified that damn organization. Ran away every great thing that came over there. Punched out them young kids. Straight up. Got, got suspended so many times and kicked out so many games, he made Steph Curry cry. This is all the foolishness he did. Absolutely disgusting. And when you come down to it, to the brother who says stop defending Clay, you just don't know anything about basketball, sir. Sometimes when you get old, man, hey, man, the hands of time is undefeated. Everybody ain't going to be like everybody else, brother. And you need to understand that, brother. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to disrespect Clay Thompson because Clay Thompson was a legend and he gave everything he had. And when you walk off the court and you're a legend, and you did it the right way. At the end of the day, when he walk off that court, I ain't going to spit on his legacy. I'm going to say that was a man, bro. Yeah, he had a bad game. He was a man, though, brother. You was a man, Clay. And you know what I do? I dap the brother up, shed a tear with the brother, and wish the brother the best. I don't spit on his name because he helped the Golden State Warriors get four world championships. And without Clay, you don't get the four. Point blank, period. So the fans don't respect what you put into the game. They don't respect what you put out in the game. You understand what I'm saying? They don't respect what you bring to the table. At some point in time, everybody gets old and gets worn down. But you respect the guys who really gave everything they got. Man came back from two career ending surgeries. He came back trying to help the Golden State Warriors win what would have been a fifth ring. And people going to dishonor him. But y'all ain't got no smoke for Draymond Green, who been running around here, punching teammates out, getting suspended all season, kicking dudes, getting dudes traded, all kind of stuff. Don't nobody got no smoke for Draymond Green? Man, get the hell out of here, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Straight up, man. Shout out to the brother Thomas Stewart in the PayPal with the donation. Salute to you, my brother. I appreciate that, man. He came through. $25 donation in the PayPal, man. I appreciate it, brother. Salute to you, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, you can respect Klay Thompson because of what he put out there. Draymond Green is the scum of the living earth. He absolutely destroyed this team. And to the brother who said criticism is warning, shut up. T get on your knees, brother. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Straight up. Like I said before, you punks ain't never did nothing before in life. It's like Avon Barksdale told Cuddy in the, in the wire. When Cuddy was like, yo, I ain't built for this no more. When Cuddy left out that room, you know what Avon told Slim? Is Slim told Avon, Slim said, hey, man, that was a man, bro. Yeah, he was a man, bro. And when you a man, bro, hey, man, you a man, brother. You go get your respect as a man, as such. But you got a lot of punks running around here that don't know how to gracefully give a dude his honor. And like I said before, man, the immortal Clay Thompson, man, he's mortal, bro. You get older, bro. You come up short, man. But see, here's the thing, right? The people that's laughing at Clay, you can never go 0 for 10 in any game. You can never be in any game. You can never be do what Clay did. So shut the hell up. You can never do what Clay did. So sit down and shut up. Like I said before, 
Draymond Green is a chump. Shout out to G4H with the donation, man. He says, should CP3 hanging up? It's a wrap. The Golden State Warriors, Draymond Green, suckered them dudes in the trade for that boy. That's disgusting. Shout out to Shelby Joseph in the cash app with the donation. He said Draymond need to be not be needs to be knocked out of therapy. He needed something. He needs something. That man ran off KD and Jordan Poole. That's 50 points right there. Jordan Poole, regardless of what you think about Jordan Poole, Poole was averaging 20 points a game off the bench. 20 points a game. Draymond Green not only ran that dude off. So now you got CP3 when they ran that dude off, which is absolute scumbag material. Scumbag material. But not only do you run him off, what else do you do? Absolutely disgusted. You, you ruin a team. You continue to get suspended. You continue to act a damn fool when can't nobody control you. That causes your team to not be able to have chemistry, lose games they needed to win. Because you kept doing dumb stuff all through the season. It don't make no damn sense whatsoever. Everybody in this damn chat room should be ashamed of Draymond Green's sorry ass. Point blank, period. And I'm disgusted. Absolutely disgusted that people's not doing that, bro. That people not doing that, bro. You understand what I'm saying? And like I said, man, Clay, uh, Clay Thompson, yeah, he played bad, man. He played like garbage, bro. But he's a man, bro. He's a man, bro. He gave y'all everything he had. How can you how can you be mad at a dude who overcame two career ending surgeries, bro? The man overcame two career ending surgeries and still fought back for the love of the game. For the love of the Golden State Warriors to wear that Warriors uniform. You understand what I'm saying? The love, the heart and the pride. A dude that helped his team get multiple championships. And you disrespect them and spit on them on the way out. That is classless from Golden State Warriors fans, bro. He's older. He ain't a dude that's in his prime playing like this. He's an older guy. He's an older guy, bro. You guys think because y'all see some dudes playing late into their ages at an extremely high level that everybody is built like that. Everybody ain't like that, bro. But I can tell you what, that punk Draymond Green hurt the team. He ran off Jordan Poole. I'm telling y'all this, he ran off Jordan. If the Golden State Warriors had Jordan Poole, you had a contingency plan. You had another dude that could help free up Steph Curry. Bro, they couldn't even let Steph get off shots, bro. That that hurt so bad. Steph Curry could barely get off shots because they're doubling and tripling the man, brother. All game. Steph Curry could not get off shots. If you had a guy like Jordan Poole who could go get his own bucket, then he could come get off. He could help alleviate the situation. Because now you can't double team both of them because Poole can boogie too. But that punk Draymond Green ran him off when he knocked his eyeballs in the back of his head and y'all went and got CP3 old at for him. And that was y'all's homegrown talent. Right there. You home grew Jordan Poole. So with everything that you didn't like about Jordan Poole, guess what he did do? He helped alleviate. He gave you big games when you needed it, when Klay Thompson was cold or when Steph was cold. He stepped up and gave you big scoring games. He had the capability of doing that. But when you had a guy like Dre, a punk like Draymond Green that ran him out of the goddamn on arena, that's disgusting, bro. You don't do that. And you hurt the team. And you forced the team into a bad decision. And then they paid Draymond Green another $100 million. And ain't nobody talking about that. Was that a $100 million performance y'all seen tonight? Or was that absolute funk and disgust and a stain that y'all seen out there on the court? That was a damn stain y'all seen on the court from Draymond Green. All the antics. all the, You got Steph Curry and them crying. Dudes don't know how to deal with your ass. The coach can't control you. All of these things Draymond Green mentally, emotionally, and psychologically putting that team through. Behind the scenes and in public. Dudes afraid to discipline them. Afraid to talk to him. Afraid to stand up to him. Afraid to coach him. It's a damn shame. The Golden State Warrior owners afraid to step to this hoe and tell him, we pay your check, punk. Sit your stupid ass down or we're going to send you home ourselves and revoke your damn check. Shout out to Lawrence in the cash app coming through, man. $50 donation salute to you. He said, preaching tonight, tick. Hey, I already know what the hell is going on. You know who the hell I be. Telling you like this, man. It's disgusting, bro. 
Draymond Green ran his organization damn it to the ground. This team could have had two or three more championships messing with Draymond Green. And that's a fact. Even if Klay Thompson would have played bad, he's an older player. These are all two career ending surgeries. Still poking his chest out. But that punk Draymond Green ran off y'all's contingency plan. He ran off Jordan Poole. This would have been a perfect game for Jordan Poole to step up and help free up space. Because that's what Jordan Poole did. He was a contingency plan. If Clay was uh, cold, uh, he stood up. If Steph was cold, he stood up. These are facts. Steph Curry was out there, couldn't even get a damn. I felt so bad for Steph tonight. Bro, they double team, triple team Steph, couldn't get a damn shot off barely. Couldn't get a damn shot off because the whole team was focusing on him. And you sitting over there looking at this dude right here, Draymond Green, don't ran off your contingency play. And you got an old ass Chris Paul who need to go ahead and cut that shit ball with that ball spot the back of his damn head, sitting out there not bringing nothing to the damn table. These is facts. If I'm the Golden State Warrior fans, I ain't, I ain't talking about just Clay. I'm talking Draymond Green. Y'all paying him $100 million for that. You paying Draymond Green $100 million to get cooked by Sabonis? You paying him $100 million to get you two rebounds? That's what you paying $100, $100 million? And I'm going to tell you again, it don't just go to this game. It go back to the regular season when his sorry ass was getting suspended all them damn games and running that organization into the damn ground. That's what it goes back to. It goes back to that point blank period. It goes back to when he had Steph Curry and them crying because they couldn't control this punk. In all them games, the Golden State Warriors lost because this fool was either suspended or his ass getting kicked out of damn games where they wouldn't even have been in a play in messing with this type of shit if it wasn't for his sorry ass. And that's a fact. And I stand on everything I say. Absolute disgust. Man ran off every good thing the Golden State Warriors had. Cost the Golden State Warriors three more legit championship runs. And y'all want to sit up here and talk about a true warrior? A dude who never really caused no trouble? Who came to work every day? Who just had a horrible game? But guess what? When he tore his knee out. When he tore his ACL. When he tore his Achilles. He still fought back. For the love of the game. For the love of the organization. For the love of the franchise. He accepted coming off the bench because he knew he wasn't playing well. Shot to G4 in the cash after the donation. He said, should we give Harrison Barnes his respect now for what? He ain't done a damn thing. He ain't in the playoffs yet. For what? I'm telling y'all this, bro. And y'all sitting over there celebrating Draymond Green. All these you talking about, yeah, we need Dre Day. Draymond Green is a destruction to this team. And I'm going to tell you, he's going to take his sorry ass on that podcast show and clout Jace LeBron James. If y'all should be mad at anybody, you should be mad at that Draymond Green for infiltrating y'all franchise and destroying it from the inside out. And then you should be mad at that organization for not doing a damn thing about it. They should have been got his ass out of it. Instead of trade, you, you brought up the Golden State Warriors built up a young asset. They built up a young asset. And, and, and Jordan Poole. And what the hell did they do? Tore that shit down to the ground. You built up a young asset in Jordan Poole. And, and you had him giving you 20 points a game off the bench. And he could have been big time helping this game. But for that bozo Draymond Green, who prey on his teammates, who ain't no real leader, he ran his team, he ran his teammates into the ground, having to worry about his situation every day, worrying about this dude. Going to get forced them to trade that man for an old Chris Paul. And now Chris Paul, he, he's so old, he can't even, he don't have no effect on the game. So instead of you having Jordan Poole, he did that. Then he ran off KD, your contingency plan. How you going to ask a dude to come, beg a dude to come over there, then disrespect him and run him off? You running off more championships. Shout out to Levon Hay in the cash app. He said, what do you think will be the next situation for Clay? I don't know what it will be. You know what I'm saying? If Clay retired, much love to him. I don't think he's going to retire. But if he retired, man, he had a great career, bro. I don't disrespect guys like Clay Thompson. Yeah, he had a horrible game. But I know what Clay been through, bro. Man been through multiple surgeries trying to fight. Clay's a good dude. Clay's, Clay loved to go to state wars. Bro, he helped the team get four world championships and didn't cause them no problems along the way. I got to at the end of the day, he's a man, bro. He walk off as a man. He can walk around 
the Bay Area as a man, bro. Not disrespected. He didn't do this punk shit that Draymond Green did. That's the only dude I ever seen make Steph Curry cry like that. The man made Steph Curry cry. And the Golden State Warrior fans gave him a pass like y'all always do. Y'all always give him a pass. Absolutely disgusting. Y'all always give Draymond Green a pass. He tore his team to shreds from the season start, from before the season. And then, not only did he get y'all to get Jordan Poole the hell up out of there, what did he do? He wrecked the team by getting himself suspended all those games. Messing up the team chemistry. Messing up the team rotation. Dealing with this punk every day. If I was the Golden State Warriors, I would tell Draymond Green, your ass is fired. Point blank, period. And he need to get rid of Andrew Wiggins' ass, too. Wiggins, and y'all get mad at Clay. You should. Wiggins is in his prime. Wiggins is more, I, Wiggins is more dis disgusting than Clay Thompson. Andrew Wiggins is in his prime. The way Wiggins played in the NBA Finals, that fool ain't been nowhere near that level since. That is disgusting. That that George, that that he has been able to get away with that. Andrew Wiggins has been an absolute stain. And it's disgusting he's been able to get away with that, bro. I'm devastated. I'm sad that he's been able to get away with that foolishness, bro. That's absolute cesspool of foolishness y'all seen going on with him, bro. And I put that on everything I love, brother. So like I said, man, if you a Golden State Warrior fan, bro, and you looking at Klay Thompson, yeah, he had a bad game. But guess what? He had a great career, bro. And he, he was a class act. And he loved the Golden State Warriors, bro. He just got old, man. Too many injuries, bro. You can't down you can't down a dude for giving you everything he got. That's what we do in this world. We tear down the good guys. The dudes who are true professionals, we tear them down. This man, without this man, State Warriors don't have four world championships. And he didn't cause them no problems along the way to get to it. He didn't make dudes have headaches. He didn't make dudes lose their damn mind. He went out here punching his teammates' eyeballs out, violating everybody in the league, doing all this foolishness, disrespecting people, every time, harassing referees. He wasn't doing this stuff, bro. You got to respect a guy like that, man. Shout out to my boy Sean Lewis coming through King Cash App, $100 donation tonight, man. And he says, keep preaching to these dudes, ticket, man. Listen, man, I can only speak the truth, brother. I can only speak the truth. I can only speak the truth, man. At the end of the day, man, go to State Warrior fans and shit. Salute Clay Thompson. Say, hey, look, we understand you had a bad game, man. We salute you for all your service, bro. You went out like a war a G, brother. You know what I'm saying? You you could have quit when you had them career ending surgeries. You could have quit, bro. But you fought back both times for the love of the game. You came back and won another championship. Yeah, you came back and won another championship, bro. You know, we love you, brother. You know, everything you brought to the game, whether you decide to retire or keep playing or go somewhere else, we got love for you, brother. You a man today. But Draymond Green, he's a punk. He's a punk. He tore that team to shreds. Shout out to G4H and the cash out the donation. He said Harrison Barnes was outperforming Wiggins. Tearing Wiggins' ass up. And that's the thing. Wiggins is young in his prime, playing like straight garbage. Wiggins ain't been nowhere near. Everybody thought Wiggins, when they won a championship, he was going to be the one to take that step. Wiggins got that contract. That Negro stealing all that money. He has been absolute trash since he got that contract. That is disgusting. And so, again, man, you know, Golden State Warrior fans going to find another reason. And it's the funny part, right? They don't never really hold this type of smoke for Draymond, bro. They don't never get Draymond. Bro, Draymond get away with everything over there, bro. He the one ruined the team. Draymond Green is the reason why the Golden State Warriors was even in a play-in game. He's the reason. If that fool wasn't acting a damn fool, causing a wreck all season long, the Golden State Warriors would have been in the, in the playoffs. They'd have been in the playoffs, bro. But since this fool kept getting suspended, messing up team chemistry, doing all this foolishness, Bro, the team could never get a, a chemistry. They could never get a rhythm. Messing with him. Then when you fighting your most, when the Houston Rockets was gaining up on you, what he do? He go get ejected in the first three minutes of the game. 
Steph Curry just break down crying. Make it make sense, brother. Make it make sense. The Golden State Warriors got to do what they didn't think they was going to do. You got to trade Draymond Green, bro. And, tra and, and, and Steve Kerr, you, this is an indictment on you. You you don't have zero control over your team. You have zero control over Draymond Green, bro. Zero. As a coach, you're a coach and you scared of Draymond Green. Ain't no way in hell, brother. You have failed to go to State Warriors as a coach. You could not get anything out of Wiggins. You couldn't get nothing out of Wiggins. Right? Wiggins ain't been nowhere near the level you had him on since he's been to the finals. You allowed him to make a dumbass move and get and get rid of Jordan Poole. That was a dumbass move. You undervalue what KD brought to the table. Right? These are all the things you did. And so it's just sad, man. It's sad, brother. You know what I'm saying? Sad, brother. To the brother who said he went out like a real zero G, man. Listen, man. You know, it's easy for everybody to bang on Clay, man. Clay older, man. This is what you really supposed to look like when you get older. You ain't supposed to be looking like them dudes on that new juice. See, when you on that new juice, you could play the year 23, 24, 25, year 26. But when you out here drinking orange juice and water, and that's it. Yeah, your body going to break down. You're going to break down, bro. You're not going to be the same player once you get older. I don't think people don't understand that, bro. Clay Thompson is human. He's an older guy. He's been through multiple surgeries, bro. What y'all expect? Y'all thought he was going to be Superman? It don't work like that, brother. It don't work like that, man. And just being real with y'all, man. You know what I mean? Uh, the Golden State Warriors got to get rid of Draymond, man. Shout out to Brandon Jenkins in the cash app with a donation. Salute to you, my brother. Salute to you, my brother. I appreciate that, dog. You ain't leave no message, but I appreciate you for that, brother. I'm just telling y'all what it is, man. Y'all got to let me know what y'all feel, man. I'm going to put a link to the podcast. I'm going to go on the podcast. I'm going to talk about this on the podcast, man. I'm going to put a link to the podcast in the comments. Y'all see Draymond Green go up there and start goddamn on talking. Draymond Green go up there. And start talking on that damn podcast show and 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 and, and clout chasing LeBron James. Y'all gonna know what's up. Y'all gonna know what's up. Y'all gonna see. Draymond Green gonna be, he ain't gonna care. You think Draymond Green care? He gonna be right back on his podcast in a day or two. Clout chasing LeBron James. Watch. I know what he gonna do. Shout out to Robert Mason in the cash app with a donation salute to you. Also, uh, shout out to the brother Kennar Brooks back in the cash app with another donation, man. He said, where Clay play next year, Ticket? Uh, I don't know, bro. It's going to be a few teams that look out for Clay. Maybe Clay wants to retire a warrior so he gives a team-friendly deal. I do think that's possible. He goes back on a team-friendly deal. But they got to move Wiggins. They got to move Draymond. They can't keep thinking, Draymond, we need Draymond. It's over with. The man is walking around here with an Uncle Ben whisker biscuit on his chin. He got a half-white beard. Get him out of here, bro. All that gray hair in his hair, man, his ass is done too. Get Draymond Green the hell up out of here. That man got a mental uh, attitude problem. He got he got real serious issues he got going on, bro. You can't be putting people through that type of stress, man. These is grown men coming to work. Ain't nobody trying to go through that stress every day. This ain't no goddamn on nursing home. Don't nobody want to go through that every day with Draymond Green, bro. Cut it out. Every day I got to come to work. And go through this with this fool. Hell no. You lost your damn mind. Think I'm going through that with him every day? I got to come to work every day and deal with this nutcase. Man, y'all lost y'all damn mind. Every day I got to come to work and deal with this damn fool. No way. No way, bro. No way, bro. Ain't no way. Draymond Green, like 32 years old and got a hair full of gray hair. Man, get him the hell up out of here, man. Get his Uncle Ben looking ass up out of here, bro. Point blank, period, bro. We don't want to hear nothing else from him. He done. That's facts. He better not come out on that podcast running his mouth. I'm telling y'all what he going to do. He going to be out on this podcast in a couple of days praising LeBron James. Watch. Guarantee. I guarantee y'all that. Y'all think I'm capping? I, anybody that's listening to this video, I guarantee you Draymond Green come on this podcast two or three days clout chasing LeBron James. I promise y'all this. Yeah, man, because see, this is why LeBron's the GOAT. <laughs>
He ain't even going to care about this loss. Watch. He don't care about this loss. I promise y'all this. I promise you, you still going to get this podcast. I don't care if we got beat. Oh, remember how he was trying to bully the Houston Rockets? Now, punk, you with the Houston Rockets, punk. Remember when Draymond Green was trying to bully the Houston Rockets? And said, yeah, they ain't nothing. They ain't nobody. They ain't, they ain't make it. Now, you ain't make it. Now, go home. You ain't make the playoffs, chump. Now, what you going to say? You right there with the Houston Rockets. All, only thing you did was play one extra game. That's all you did and got humiliated. That's all you did. That's all you did. You know what I mean? So, yeah, y'all going to see. I promise y'all that. I know how Draymond Green act. He going to be right on the podcast, clout chasing LeBron James. Watch. And then you might see him at the Lakers game. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past him to go to the Lakers game next game and cheer LeBron James. I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't. That's the type of dude he is, bro. He'll show up in, in Staples. When they go to game three, he'll be right there in Staples. Yeah, you know, I had to come see Braun, man. You know, Dre Day, baby. I had to come see Braun. I had to come see the GOAT. Yeah, man, there's only one GOAT, man. Yeah, man, it's LeBron, man. I'm Draymond. I'm Dre. I'm Dre, man. I'm Draymond Green. Chump. Like I said, man, it destroys your team, brother. You ought to be a damn shame to yourself. Period. Destroyed your team like that. Talked all that shit. Y'all ain't even make the playoffs, dog. Make it make sense, brother. Y'all ain't even make the playoffs. Went out like a straight chump. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe, man. Ring the bell. Holla. I'm going on the podcast show, y'all. Click that link. I'm going to pin it at the top of the comments. I'm going to the podcast to cook on this. I'll holla. Link is pinned at the top of the comments. Shout out to everybody subscribe to the podcast show. Bro, we got over 3,000 people. We on our way to 4,000 subscribers on the podcast. So make sure y'all go patreon.com backslash ticket TV. Go to the podcast show. I'm going to cook some more on the podcast. So y'all come on the podcast show, man. Draymond Green is a chump. Uh, I'm telling y'all this. Can't, I can't. I don't have no respect for that dude, bro. None. Salute to everybody donating to the stream, too, man. Much love to y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all like that? Hit the like button on y'all way out. Subscribe to the channel, man. Gone.